everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Leora and I make videos here about books, reading, writing and sometimes other stuff as well. And today I'm doing another video where I go book shopping and I was thinking about also going to the library for a little bit and just having a look around and then after that I'm going to be doing a little book haul as well to show you all the books that I've found. So I'm very excited to go outside. It's a lovely spring day. There's some sunshine outside. It's a lot colder than you would think when you're just like looking outside. You would think it's the best weather but it's probably like eight degrees. I'm still gonna have a wonderful time just finding some new books out there. I still have some like gift cards for my birthday and stuff so I'm planning on using those so very exciting I always love when I get to do like free book shopping <laughs> but before we go out and dive into all of that have you guys noticed my super funky new glasses <laughs> and these glasses are all thanks to today's sponsor which is glassesusa.com so thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video so I really do need my prescription glasses but I rarely wear them because I'm so picky when it comes to glasses and I sort of prioritize my outfit over my eye size which I know is very silly but this is where glassesusa.com comes in in because they have so many frames and styles to choose from. Glasses USA is one of the biggest eyewear retailers in the US and they are offering thousands of styles. Both glasses and sunglasses from brands such as Ray-Ban, Gucci, Oakley and many many more. And what's also great about Glasses USA is that their glasses start at only $39 which is around 70% off of a regular retailer price. So if you love these frames and some of the others I'm about to show you there's a great exclusive offer waiting for you guys if you just click the links in the description box down below. This is the first pair I picked from them and these are the Ototo Alkeo Gold and I love these because they go with literally anything with like a more retro outfit like I'm wearing right now but also with a cute sweater or a more like dark academia style look. And then I have these glasses, which I like, they are sort of like librarian glasses. These are the Muse Francesca Brown Tortoise Gold Tortoise. I don't know how you say that, but I also really love these. I feel like I look kind of 2000s, but also really cute. And then I also got some really, really cool sunglasses and I'm so excited about these. Oh my God, I feel very cool and funky. But for those of you who just like me struggle with actually wearing glasses, Glasses USA is also the perfect place to stock up and save on contact lenses. You get 25% off all contact brands. Think like Vista, AccuView, Biofinity, Dailies, and many more. They're available with any prescription and for all users. And that's perfect for me because I end up not wearing my glasses anyway. Although I'm really going to try this time because they look really cute. I've really enjoyed my shopping experience with glassesusa.com. Even though there were so many options, they have some great tools to help you navigate that. And one of my favorite tools that they have, which I had so much fun with, is the AR virtual try on, which was just a great time altogether. You can put the glasses on it and see how it looks. I use it to find all my frames. It was super helpful. And then next to all of those benefits, shopping at glassesusa.com is a risk-free shopping experience with free shipping and returns and a 100% money back guarantee within 14 days. Right now, glassesusa.com is offering a wild exclusive discount on top of any coupon codes that might already be active in the store. And this is exclusive to my followers and only available for 24 hours. So if you're curious and would love to see what more cute frames they have in store definitely click the links in the top of my description box to get all of the details once again thank you so much to glassesusa.com for sponsoring this video i have no idea which one of these i'm actually going to wear today because i love all of them but yes let's get on to the bookstore right now because i'm very excited to do some book shopping and i think i'm gonna wear my sunglasses outside <laughs>
everybody I'm back with all of the books that I got as you can see it's the next day um, yesterday I didn't have enough time to film this little book haul of the books I bought at the bookstore and also the books that I got at the library so I have a bunch of stuff to show you guys I already started in the two books I bought because I was too excited I'm also very excited about these let's just get right into it so first off at the bookstore I got two books I bought these from gift cards I still left over from my birthday so first we have things I don't want to know by Deborah Levi. Um, this is a book that's been on my TBR for such a long time but it's not findable in any bookstore up until now I guess. I was never able to find this anywhere even though I really wanted to read this. So it's the first in Deborah Levi's sort of three-part autobiography essay collections which is really cool that she sort of separated it into three parts and it says here that it's on writing and womanhood and I've already seen at the start that it says that there's four parts in this political purpose, historical impulse, sheer egoism and aesthetic enthusiasm and that all sounds very interesting to me as some of you may know I'm currently writing an essay collection Ah, yesterday at writing group we actually went to assemble some of the essays I've already written up until now to see what the layout of the book could be so that's very exciting. I'm always up for an essay collection to get some inspiration or to just read because I just love reading about people's lives and especially if they're such good writers as Deborah Levi is. I've read some excerpts of her before but I've never read an entire novel by her and I just want to read like a little bit from the start of this book to you because it was immediately what drew me in. That spring when life was very hard and I was at war with my lot and simply couldn't see where there was to get to I seemed to cry most on escalators at train stations. Going down them was fine but there was something about standing still and being carried upwards that did it. From apparently nowhere tears poured out of me and by the time I got to the top and felt the wind rushing in it took all my effort to stop myself from sobbing. It's like funny and sad at the same time and that's my favourite thing when essays are able to do that. They're like hilarious but also deeply tragic. <laughs> And I also relate to crying on escalators, so. And then the next book I picked up and I also immediately started is this sort of cosy mystery, like a whodunit, and it's called Vera Wong's Unsolicited Advice for Murderers by Jessie Sutanto. If you followed me longer, you know that I've loved Dial A for Aunties by Jessie Sutanto. It was one of my favourite books of last year. I had such a fun time reading it. And I just think this one is going to be equally as funny. It's about 60 year old Vera Wong who one day discovers a dead body in her tea shop and she's like, I know better than all of you police officers. I will solve this murder. And because she's incredibly nosy and she loves to just like give unsolicited advice to everybody, she completely ruins the investigation or at least that's what I've heard. So far it's been really funny. I'm not that far in, boss. <laughs> so far it's been really funny and just a good time. Then my little library haul. So first up I got Anatomy, a love story by Dana Schwartz and this is actually a book that I think is perfect for autumn but I saw it right now and I wanted to get it from the library before but it was always loaned out so I was like I'll just get it now and I'll read it even though it's not autumn. It's fine. I love autumn. I'll just read it in the in the springtime. So it says on the back, Hazel Sinnott is a lady who wants to be a surgeon more than she wants to marry. Jack Curra is a resurrection man who's just trying to survive in a city where it's easy to die. Edinburgh, 1817, a gothic tale full of mystery and romance. So it's about a resurrectionist and then it's also about a lady who wants to be a surgeon. And I think it's like a mystery and it's got something to do with graves and bodies and it sounds like creepy but beautiful and the cover is absolutely stunning. If I end up really liking this book, I'll definitely buy it just because it's so pretty. So very excited about this one. Then I got Trickery by Roald Dahl. When I was in Italy this summer, I read a book by Roald Dahl, which was like a short story collection of him. And I had a few stories in there that I'd never read before. And so when I was at the library and they had this entire like shelf of sort of Roald Dahl short story collections, I was like, oh, this is perfect because I love his short stories. They're like always so twisted and like sort of scary and creepy and you never see coming what's going to happen. Um, so this is a story collection with 10 tales of dark and twisted trickery. Roald Dahl reveals that we are at our smartest and most cunning when we set out to deceive others and sometimes even ourselves. So there was a few stories in here that I already recognised and a few that I didn't recognise. So Mrs Bixby and the Colonel's Coat, I've read that one before and I think I've read The Surgeon and The Hitchhiker before as well. But then there's still like seven stories in here I've never read and also I'd love to reread those other ones. So can't wait to get into this. I always really enjoy his books. And then I got a cute little middle grade and of course it's witchy. This is Hedge Witch um, by Sky McKenna and it just looks adorable. Look at that cover. That is so cute. 
On the back it says, if you did go all the way through, if you came out the other side, the cat looked up at her with this amber glaze, then you would find yourself in fairy. Okay, sounds amazing. And then I noticed that it has a beautiful map inside and it also has beautiful art on all the headers of the chapters, so stunning. So this is about a girl who's at boarding school and I think she runs away and then finds herself in this world filled with magic and witches. And I think her mother is missing and she's trying to find her mother. That's all I know, because there's like no uh, description anywhere here except for the library sticker which is where I got this information so don't know a whole lot about it but it sounds adorable and it looks really cute so I'm very excited to read this. Okay so those were all of the books I picked up at the library and the bookstore I really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to check out this week's sponsor, glassesusa.com. Links are in my description for their exclusive offer, which is only valid for 24 hours. So definitely check it out. Again, thank you so much to glassesusa.com for sponsoring my content and enabling me to keep creating stuff on here for you guys and for me. And yeah, I'll hope to see all of you soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these books and if you've enjoyed them. If you don't know what to comment, leave a nice tulip flower emoji. And I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye!